one at the time we did run back to the barracks and a uh, 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 lady that was training us because it was a mixture of you know men and women she should drop on the concrete bust out the whole her lip and i was like one go one but one go i was i was so over it at that point <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos and before I get right into it, thank you, thank you so much for getting me to over 400 subscribers. Of course, the next target is 500 subscribers, so let's just see how quick I can get your girl to it. And sorry about not uploading a video last week, I had some technical difficulties, but I'm back again and ready to get right into it. So today, I'll be sharing my experience with you. Um... Well, the experience about me trying out for the JDF Reserve. Yes. Um, it was definitely an adventure and I'm excited today to share exactly what happened. So, make we just go right in it. Alright, so we're serious already now. So I had applied for the JDF Reserve some time ago, right? I went through the first interview with a friend and I remember, you know, we never hear nothing from it. So especially for me, I just dismissed it, right? I said, look here, you try it, never work out, on to the next thing, right? And then I got the opportunity again to do a second interview and actually I went through with it and I got through the second time, right? So you know i got the email about maybe three weeks or like a month actually like a month before it was the time to come in and three weeks leading up to the day that i should you know go by camp i decided for you know start work on myself right so i started jogging along the boulevard in the evenings so when i jogged on the boulevard in the evenings i'd come home right and then me skip skip out my life at night time because of course kim i forget fit for this right i asked my former employer for time off because i think we had to go in from the thursday midday and so i asked my employer for the time off so you know i can go get my training done get through and you know jdf reserve here i come no, you know, reach up a camp, but you know, yeah, familiarize yourself with the other um, candidates or applicants that were there. And it's when I actually like, I fill out the form and the wave on me, I send the wave on me, I say, like, whoa, you're really doing this, right? Like, you have taken on something completely new. The orientation process, and then they gave us our, like, training outfit. Um, each person got, like, a bib. Right, and it had a number on it, and my number was actually 95, so I was candidate 95, right? So, you know, I realized everybody I get one one bib, and me I say, not one one bib, and, and the training uniform, and me I wonder, you know, okay, like, what happened tomorrow? I get an exit, so you know, I ask the person, he looked at me, like, I asked the officer that was handing me out, and he looked at me and was like, no, this is your train, this is your gear, this is your uniform for the entire training um timeline so me i say thursday friday saturday sunday you want something like you can imagine how green me i go be right so take it move on because of course never have another option so went to our barracks and you know we change off and everything and i'm assuming okay our first day there we are go sleep you know get a little rest eat some food and probably move we'll up early now the morning like you know after four after three if you know get started it started right then and there like them legit start everything the same day and i was a bit taken aback don't know what i was expecting but you know we got through a few sessions and um these were like the lighter sessions right um most like introductory you know um courses and so so when they dismissed us for the night you know we get excited everybody uh, go towards embarks only to hear that you know okay come back and then we were we were told to do an infinite amount of push-ups now um i don't know about you but 
push up and grab them, right? All of my hand make a joke out. All of my hand make a joke out. And to think that I've that was like my first time actually doing push ups in my entire life. Yeah, but me take myself gone. I'm like a genius reserve. But um, did I try to make a push up? Try to make a push up and one of the training officer came and stood behind me and my only here him shout out um candidate dhq what make your body so high up in the ear you know and it's like man i said jesus christ i'm gonna kill me out here let me tell you i don't push up until a week i don't push up until a week and the worst things like to this day i still not get the form right so every single time we had an obstacle course and you know, you had to do push up. Sometimes me have to end up at the double, triple the amount to everybody else I do. And for the life of me, me can't imagine like why me can't get the form, why me can't do it, right? So and, and we did we did those push ups every night, right? So the first night, um, we weren't sent to bed until like four a.m. in the morning, like four a.m. everything done. And they sent us. We actually had an assignment, a written assignment to do. And me I try to imagine them say, right, well, I forget to back at six. I look at the time and me I say, but this is impossible. Like, all oh, this all work. Nonetheless, I, I, we, we just had to do it. We went in, I did the written assignment. I was shocked at how, you know, fast I was able to complete that. And get like probably 45 minutes rest, back at it again, right? And at that point, I was shocked because I thought that, you know, I'd be tired, I'd be overwhelmed but i don't know if it was the adrenaline but i was quite fine as a matter of fact the the night that we the very first night that we were doing the the, the push-ups a guy quit but look on it you know i'm gonna say mm -mm, not enough for me mm -mm, worse than gonna call me candidate dhq I'm gonna say, mm -mm, me me in a this me not quitting down here and just like that i was on my way so yeah Friday morning now, uh, we had uh, another session. We were told that, you know, we're going jogging now. Bear in mind, me tell yourself for three weeks straight, me a jog along the boulevard. I mean, I'm not talking about a jogging, you know, like far distance to me. Like, um, I don't know if you guys know where um, Sovereign on the boulevard is. Um, the Shoppers here supermarket is there. The musical like like Nietzsche Supercenter or something like that. So I used to jog from there up by the bridge at Don Robin is a far distance that you can't tell me nothing. But anyways, you know, I'm a jog back and forth. Um, like me say, I come home, come skip. So I say, yeah, DHQ, candidate DHQ, your time for shine, all right? So the training officer told us that we'd run to a certain point, right? We'd jog to a certain point. I say, you know, I said to myself, that's not hard. That not hard, me can easily do that, right? So, you know, we're there jogging as a group. And when we reach a point, we realize that the training officer, like, he, he jogged past the the stop point. And me, I say, you know, like, maybe no member. God, I could never treat this man, treat me out here. Maybe no member. But, yeah, we ended up jogging probably, like, twice that distance. And then had to come back. But, me, I tell you, see, when I time for we come back, honestly, me didn't give up. I was like, nope, can't do this. Shout out, break. Feel like more of me. Me are dead. Can't. The, the the training uniform it it hot me don't know all the soldiers them do it big up to uno but that shit is hot right so we did it and when i tell me stop unless i stop me i can't do this and shout out to that pe teacher that was training with us right because he pushed me he pushed my name to no candidate 95 i can't give up he just like, push me and so one night time like me legit stop and i walk and i aim that and push me I go forward and me I say this is almost my good Samaritan. Can we didn't give up? I was so out of it. But eventually we got back um to, to, to where we started and me I say thank you, Jesus. But it's like I couldn't really get a sigh of relief because I knew I knew there was something else coming. So they told us to you know form groups because we're actually going through a set of obstacle courses, right? And the first one the little log, something where you have to jump over one, roll under one, jump, and by the time I jump over the first one, roll under the first one, like, man, I said, no, oh, sir, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. There are some something where you have seen in movies, I can't manage, I cannot, I could not manage, right? 
but I still I still did it and you went through you went through it in pairs right so you want somebody else from your group go through it in pairs right and if you're the person that you're paired with for that particular obstacle if you not go through it at the same time or the person will finish you have to go back over it right until the person get it right so i remember one particular time um we go through that we go through the monkey bars we go monkey bars we go through something else and like you just you kept on going through the obstacles and i remember that on the monkey bars I'm still upset about it. On the monkey bars at a particular time, I had to go four times. Four, four, four. See the three measure. Four times. Four, 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 four times. Me and a swing like monkey, right? Because the person that I went through it with at the point, him could have finished. So every time him reach halfway and drop off, me have to actually complete it and come back around and start. At one point, me feel like kick, honest, me feel like just swing my foot over and kick him off of the bar because I was so upset like going through this so many times because once somebody could get it right even when we reach the part where like you know you, you climb under that little barb or your tunnel or something now if you know me you know some ma, ma, ma have trouble growing my edges from like a longer time right and remember one time me i go underneath it and i'm here trying to move me here stop me here stop with the move and <laughs> By the time I move on, I just the one that my ears just tear out. And just have to move through it and go on. Move through it and go on. Now, when we actually finish that set of obstacle courses, when we say mud, mud all over the course, dirty. And me I say, this can't work. Me need, like, me need a new a new suit. This, this, this couldn't work throughout it, right? Yeah, same dirty mud up suit we have to wear for the entire, entire time. But... After that, you know, I think we had breakfast and then we went to another course and training obstacle, I should say. And there was a particular one where we had to go over a high wall. I can remember like a drum, a rope and a, and a ladder, something like that to get over it. And like, it, I was good going up on, on, the, on, on, on the wall. But I mean, I know by the time I reached up there, I looked down and I realized like, oh my God, like they're far up off of the ground i'm afraid of heights all oh, this work and by the time if i come down i catch a piece of muscle contract and i'm on foot like me say legit me say up there my daddy i know cripple feel like my cripple up there right and it's like one of my teammates have come up there and, and get me down but i mean throughout the other obstacle courses let me tell you it physical strength mental fortitude and, and a little bit of weight for actually get through um I never completed all of them like as a team, you know, collectively we never really completed all of them But like throughout it, I see a girl drop a, 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 a sprinter and right I see another youth faint, right? Fully fully collapsed, them have to rush with them, go to hospital I see people spring them, uncle is like One at a time we need to run back to the barracks and a, 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 a lady that was training those Because it was a mixture of, you know, men and women she should drop on the concrete, bust out the whole her lip. And I was like, one go one, but one go home. I was I was so over it at that point, right? Still push through, right? Cause I never like that candidate DHQ comment there, right? So every night I do my push up on my gravel, right? And then I kill me, Hannah Strip. I remember a particular night where we had a session that we were sitting going through some things and like there was i was feeling like when i said the pain along the spinal cord it was unbearable right and i had to a doctor actually came by you know check me out and give me some medication they asked me if i wanted to go home and me i said well you come so far kim no this i know you and i decided that you know i was going to you know, stick it out and i just continue going at at this point i kind of figured out how it would be right little to no sleep you go through obstacle courses throughout the whole day and then throw you know going past midnight going straight back to the early morning right little to no sleep like them really and truly i go wear you out right and i mean all in all it was it was a good it was a good experience for me good painful as well right but 
it's something that was adventurous to me and i'm glad i actually went through it because i proved to myself that you know i i am made of more and i can do so much more if my really and truly just set my mind to it, it might sound cliche but until you really push yourself beyond the limit that you're used to then you'll actually know what you're made of or what it is that you can actually do um right but yeah so we went through that and it was on selection day you know we we're all on the uh, gazebo waiting and I see the first batch card, second batch card, third batch card, and I still not in it. I said, mm, something to look good, something to look right. So I was left in the final batch, and it's like, you know, you already know, say, yeah, man, this never worked out. So I went in, and, you know, they told us, of course, that, you know, we, we never quite made the cut. Um, I think it was probably like five or six of us ate the most right but we never quite made the cut and to this day i don't know the actual reason right but um i'm thinking should i try should i try again i'm i'm not sure if that's something i want to do at this stage of my life um but who knows right but i returned to work i came home the sunday right so i went there from thursday midday and we got sent home the sunday and i couldn't i actually couldn't go to work the monday like body fully popped down mashed down could not make it tuesday actually returned to work and for the entire week my body just seized up right and i mean eventually i recovered and so yeah i just decided to pinch a piece of the story tell me because i can't remember if i did sign uh you know, a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, a form. We say you know, me can't do otherwise. Unless me can't remember. JD, if you don't watch this, I'm innocent. <laughs> but yes, thanks for checking out another video, guys. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Come on, I'm trying to get your girl to 500 subscribers. <laughs>